Good evening, I'm Karen Devine. And I'm John White at 6 o'clock. Time for news. You're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader, live in high definition. This is News Channel 3 at 6. Aside from the homeowners and businesses who have had to evacuate because of this fire, specialized annual camps full of kids and camp advisors have had to change their plans and get off the mountain. A one such group is now holding its retreat in Palm Desert, and locals are pitching in to help feed and house the campers who come from all over the world. More than 300 people attending a summer spiritual living retreat at Buckhorn Camp, located off the 243 just before Idlewild, were evacuated last night as the wind shifted and the mountain fire grew close to the campground. 200 kids were among the group bus to the nearest evacuation center at Hemet High School, where they spent the night. We stayed at Hemet High School under the liability and the awesome care of American Red Cross. That was super cool and <laughs> couldn't be more than thankful for that. So we're all operating on a little less sleep than normal. So that's pretty much the norm at this stage of camp. Some of those attending the camp came from as far away as Canada. The spiritual retreat is part of a national organization based out of Colorado. There is a local chapter in Palm Desert, and that's where the campers are now. It was like the best people that we could be with to experience that like evacuation because everyone was just so supportive and just loved everyone through it. and just did what we had to do, it was, it was really great. The Center for Spiritual Living, located off Portola, touts themselves as a spiritual community that honors all paths to God and helps people find a personal relationship with God. Tonight, the community has been gracious in helping provide the basic needs for the group, including Mario's Italian Cafe, who donated enough food for everyone for the day. The retreat lasts until Saturday, and some of the kids may have to be sent home early if more lodging isn't found to house them. Some good can come of this. We can still put together a really great spiritual retreat. We can still have a good time together and come together and, and unify under the presence of this one universal God. So they're really excited about it. They're glad to be here. And I want to point out that officials from the Center for Spiritual Living are grateful to the community members who have already come out to help, especially over the past 24 hours when they were trying to figure out how to house, feed, and transport all those kids. If you would like to help out, go to our website, KESQ.com, for more information.